Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am showing off some of my small kitchen organization today because I have this massive grocery haul from Target that needs to be put away. So we are doing a full restock in my fridge, pantry, and freezer. Give this video a thumbs up if you love restocking and organization videos. Subscribe if you aren't already, and we're gonna jump into it by emptying all of the grocery bags out of my car. All right, guys, we are starting out with a massive Target grocery haul today. We had so much that we needed to stock up on, and I've got it all shoved on this small section of countertop because the rest of the kitchen is a mess. Clearly, I wasn't planning very well for filming, but we have dirty dishes in the sink here, dishes on the drying mat that need to be put away, a mess on the countertops, and don't worry, I'll get to that in just a few minutes. But first I'm going to share our groceries with you and then some fridge and pantry restocking because that is always just so satisfying. But I'll just start over here. So if you can see back there in the corner, we have some rainbow goldfish and then also three boxes of cereal, Honey Nut Cheerios, Sawyer Wanted Frosted Mini wheats this week and then also Kinsley has been on a honey bunches of oats kick lately and there's a 20% off target cartwheel so three different cereals we needed some tissues because Sawyer has been going through them lately and then also some napkins I did pick up these fresh stacks graham crackers our kids love graham crackers and these are in like smaller packages so they don't go stale as fast and then Sawyer also wanted some chicken and a biscuit crackers so I got those for her as well as these chewy mini dips they're the summer night s'mores flavor They've never had these before, but they have had like s'mores chewy bars, so I'm sure they'll love that. Two taco seasonings, because we're running low. And then also this ginger beer. Derek and I really like mules, and this one is so good. The Q ginger beer. It's also really cheap at Target, so that one's our favorite. Sawyer also had to have these apple juices. I don't get these very often, but she has been sick like all week long. So it's just a little treat for her. We're trying out this oat milk creamer from the Good and Gather brand this week. It's a pumpkin spice flavor. It's limited edition and it was only $2. We really love the Starbucks version, but that is like almost $6 for a bottle. So hopefully we like this one just as much. I also picked up these lobster raviolis, two packs of them because there was a 50% off cartwheel this week. We've never had these, but we do love a lot of the other raviolis that they have there. So I got two packs and I noticed on the package that it says you can freeze them so I'm definitely going to put them on in the freezer and use this as like a quick meal on a busy night because they take no time to cook and I'll probably just make them with a shrimp scampi sauce and then I also got two of these burrata lemon zest and herb raviolis these are so good we've had them so many times so I know for sure that we like those and also are a quick and easy like busy night meal I got a bag of shrimp to go with these lobster raviolis 
And then also some chicken and cheese taquitos. We don't get these often, but they are really, really easy for like a weekend lunch at home. It's just, they're so good too. And then also two packs of these two good two gram sugar vanilla Greek yogurts. Derek and I both love these and they're relatively clean as far as their ingredients go. They're really good. We got two packs of bacon back here and then also some thick cut center cut pork loin chops. <laughs> that is such a mouthful. They had $3 off stickers on them. So it was $3 per package and they're super thick. So I usually cook those like steaks and they'll just be a really good weeknight dinner this week. We needed a pumpkin carving kit. So I got this one that has like two sets of everything and also comes with some some stencils. We're going to be doing our pumpkin carving this weekend, so we definitely needed to get that. And then also some of these mini chocolate chip cookie sandwiches. This was an impulse buy, but Sawyer was grocery shopping with us today and she was like, don't we need some ice cream? So I figured a mini version is better than getting a full size. She also wanted these animals drinkable yogurts with the Buzz Lightyear on them. These are strawberry and birthday cake flavored and she really just loves them because of the packaging but she will eat them all so it's okay. I also got two 18 count of the Good and Gather brand large eggs. These are a staple for us. We go through both of these in a week. Every single week we eat a lot of eggs. And then also with these grand cinnamon rolls, there's five of them in here and we just keep this on hand for like a really easy weekend special breakfast. I'm not sure if we'll have it this week or not, but we just like to have it in the fridge. And then some daisy sour cream because we were running out. The girls have both been loving these Good & Gather brand mini sandwich peanut butter crackers. They're kind of like the Ritz peanut butter crackers, but it's the Target brand, so they're cheaper. They are really good, and they're not always in stock, so we actually got the last box of them today. We also picked up this little 12-pack of mini Oreos, mini Chips Ahoy, and mini Nutter Butter Bites, mostly because a friend at school let Kinsley try one of her Nutter Butters, and she's been obsessed and asking for them. So we got these. Sawyer will eat these ones more than she'll eat this, and Kinsley will go nuts over this, but these are a special treat, so it'll last us like at least a month having this 12-pack. And then Sawyer wanted some... Pringles snack stacks to go in her lunchbox. All of these things are just like easy, convenient lunchbox items, and that's what we get them for. We're just in a season of life right now where we really value convenience, and so these prepackaged foods are it for us. We also got some no sugar added diced peaches and no sugar added mandarin oranges for when we run out of fresh produce. I was out of honey, so I got this organic honey. We have this macaroni and cheese Paw Patrol cups. Sawyer will only eat the Paw Patrol version right now, and these are really convenient for us to have on hand, so we got a pack of that. And then some Capri Suns for the girls' lunch boxes. I know you don't see any like fresh produce or anything in here, but we're going to the pumpkin patch this weekend to get our carving pumpkins, and while we're there, we will go to their fresh produce stand and stock up on all of that. I almost forgot we did get Kinsley's Halloween costume today. She wanted to be a Hufflepuff student so we got her the robes and then also a Hufflepuff scarf and a Hufflepuff tie to go with it and the Halloween costumes were on sale at Target but there wasn't a sign saying that so that was definitely a pleasant surprise. But now that I've shown you everything let's go ahead and get all of this put into the fridge and the pantry. We break up and you slam the door I messed up on the bedroom floor What the hell do we do this for? I push you out, but you come back That attraction, we can't fight that Oh, keep telling myself Sad love, we got that fun love, we got that young love, yeah, that dumb love, we got 
Okay, so the fridge and freezer foods are all put away, which means I only have the pantry items left. And if you've been around for a while, you know I really love my pantry organization, and part of that is taking all of these things out of their excess packaging and then putting them into my organization containers. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get them all out now, and then I'll pull out those bins and get everything. Show me something, show me something I haven't seen before Cause I'm tired of the same boats, the same show There is truly nothing better than being fully stocked with food to feed your family. This just never gets old for me. I can't believe this is my life, truly. Having all of these bins just stocked up with everything that my family loves and enjoys and needs. It's truly such a blessing. And there is just something so unbelievably satisfying about seeing a fully stocked fridge. I don't know, maybe it's just me. You guys will have to let me know. Do you also enjoy restocking videos and seeing a fridge and a pantry fully restocked? I definitely do. It's also such an emotional experience for me every time I get groceries and I do like a big restock like this. It's so humbling. I just want to show you guys we do have plenty of fresh produce so don't think that we're only eating prepackaged foods and also don't think that I'm showing off. I'm definitely not I'm just trying to give you guys an overview of how it looks afterwards But if you are currently struggling with food insecurity, my heart goes out to you I know that struggle it is such an isolating and defeating feeling But don't let it get you down. There is a light at the end of the tunnel But anyway now I have all of this recycling and trash So I'm gonna go ahead and break down the recycling get the plastic thrown in the garbage and start cleaning up in the kitchen 
cleaning up all of the trash and breaking down the recycling is actually going to end today's video. So I hope that you all enjoyed this and thought that this restocking was so satisfying. These are some of my favorite videos to film and watch. But if you are still here at the end, thank you so much for watching the entire video. Leave me your favorite fruit emoji down in the comment section so that I know that you're still here watching with me. But anyway, thank you so much for choosing to spend your time here today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already because I would love to have you join my YouTube family and I will see you all in the next one.